so good. That smells so good. Hey, what's going on, lovelies? I'm Veggie Rose. Welcome back to our channel. And by our channel, I mean you guys and me because there's no one else behind the scenes here. Whenever I say our channel, I mean me, you, us, our channel. So welcome back. If this is your first time stopping by, don't forget to go ahead and click on that subscribe button. It looks like this and the little notification bell next to it so that you will be notified every time a new video goes up, which is every Monday, Wednesday, and Sweet Saturday. So today is Sweet Saturday and I'm going to be showing you guys how to make one of my kids' favorite, especially. They love, absolutely love pancakes. And I had something similar to these a while back at a restaurant we went to, um, or I tried them, um, and they were really good. And as I was making breakfast the other day, the pineapple upside down pancakes I tried that one time just popped into my head and I was like, oh, I wanna recreate these. And they turned out really good. So I wanted to share the recipe with you guys. So yeah, so we're making, if you don't know by now, we're making pineapple upside down pancakes. So let's get ready. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and mix our pancake batter. And for this pancake batter, I use my just usual, super basic pancake recipe. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys over again how to make it. So I have one cup of all-purpose flour in here. Of course, you could use any flour you like. If you wanna use like gluten-free flour or whatever flour floats your boat, go ahead and use that instead. And we're also gonna be adding into, wait, we're not gonna do the liquid first. We're gonna also gonna be adding in here one tablespoon of sugar. We're gonna be adding two, yes, you heard right, two tablespoons, tablespoons of uh, baking powder. And this baking powder, this is baking powder. Please, I cannot stress enough, don't use baking soda. No baking soda. Eh, eh, eh. No baking soda. I've had people come like come back to the comments and like and on my pancake recipe and they're like, oh, it, it tasted awful. I don't know, it was too much bacon powder. I'm like, did you use bacon powder or bacon soda? They think about it, they come back and they're like, oh yeah, I use bacon soda. Bacon soda, no, no. Two tablespoons baking powder. Okay, now that that's out of the way, all right, we're gonna go ahead and just quickly mix that up. And then we're gonna go ahead, ooh, I got a little flour cloud going on here. And then we're gonna go ahead and add one cup of unsweetened almond milk. And then we're also gonna be adding in two tablespoons of vegetable oil. You could also use uh, coconut oil. Um, I wouldn't use olive oil just because it would like change the taste. Um, but yeah, then we're gonna go ahead, mix this up really nicely. So on a medium heat, I'm gonna go ahead and spray my pan with some cooking spray. And I'm gonna go ahead and add in our pineapple slice, and it's just canned pineapple slices. And you can do more than one at a time, of course. I just wanna do one to show you guys and make it look really pretty. But usually I do two right next to each other. We're just gonna go ahead and flip it. We're just looking for a little bit of color. And we're just gonna go ahead and place as many maraschino cherries as you can in the center of this. This one might be a little small for two, so we're just gonna do one. And I'm gonna go ahead and add on a fourth of a cup of pancake batter over top. As you can see, the pancake batter is really nice and fluffy, and that's why I added the um, baking powder. You can't taste it. And I'm just gonna cook this on like medium low, just like you would cook any regular pancake until it's nice and done on one side. All right, so once you could lift this off, you're ready to flip. Just be really, really careful because the center is still going to be wet. See how it was like a little bit of a messy process, but it still works. We're going to keep making these until your batter is done. All right, guys, so should we go ahead and give this delicious little pancake a taste? All right, here we go. Some syrup. Should I have some of the cherry in there? Yeah, it's cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's some good stuff. You could actually add a little bit of vanilla into your pancake batter to make it taste even more cakey, if you like. But I think it tastes so good, just like this. 
Mm. Oh man, I can eat these. Look, I need to slow down. <laughs> it's so good. It's so so good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. You guys need to treat yourself to some pineapple upside down pancakes because these are delicious. So that's it, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a big old thumbs up if you liked it. Also, don't forget to tag me on Instagram if you make this recipe or any of my other recipes because I would love to see what you made and I would love to know what you think about it. Also, just as a quick heads up, you might see the same outro in the three videos for this week because I filmed the other videos and totally forgot to make an outro for it, even though I say the same exact thing in every outro. So yeah, just as a heads up so you're not like, why does it sound exactly the same? Why are you wearing the same shirt? That's why, just a quick little disclaimer. Anyways, love you guys and I'll talk to you guys soon, bye.